Union. Um, these two grants go primarily to our Heart of the Matter project, which is our project with the um, Palestinian families and children. So these are pretty much the biggest, the, the biggest grants are going to that right now. We have a German organization called Ein Hertz for Kinder that sponsors 100 kids a year, which is awesome. Um, we also have many personal donors and, and organizations and fundraisers. We have an extensive young leadership uh, program, which would be awesome if you guys from the Miami University can get involved. Um, we, they actually, as a young leadership, as an international board, raised uh, about half a million dollars last year. That's pretty cool. Um, the Israeli government doesn't necessarily hand us money, however they help an extreme, extreme amount. Um, the reason that, that I say that is because we don't get checks from them, however, um, it costs us $15,000 a single life. So it's 10,000 in medical costs. Um, it, you guys are from the States, so how much do you think it would cost in the States to have this uh, uh, open heart surgery without insurance? Hundreds of dollars. What do you guys think? Like, I, I could take a ballpark guess and guess like north of $250,000 easily. Yeah. $250,000, easily, without insurance. So for us to pay $10,000 is like essentially nothing. Um, the reason it costs so little is because this is what the Israeli government charges us. Wolfson Medical Center is, is a government hospital. It's a community government hospital. Um, they allow us to use their facilities, their supplies, and their doctors for a very, very minimal cost of $10,000. So they, they help us a lot. Um, so those are, are like major, major sources of funding. There are always other things going on, but that's, that's the major. Any other questions? Yeah. What's the average like, amount of stay? Um, so we say the average stay is about three months. Um, it varies a great deal. So for example, we do um, a procedure called catheterization. You guys heard of it? Um, it's like a, it's much less invasive than an open heart surgery. It can be a diagnostic procedure or a treatment. Um, it's a catheter that goes right into an artery in the right right here and gets snaked up to the heart. And um, it's a, obviously the recovery time is much less than an open heart surgery. So when our children are coming for this procedure, they can be in and out in a week and a half, two weeks, depending on the availability of the hospital and the doctors. And we did have a baby that was, he was in and out in like a week and a half. I think he was here in January. Um, and then on the other side of the spectrum, we recently had a six-year-old that was here for eight months. She had two